more. I, I know it has to be crazy, but let's go ahead and move on to somebody else who's potentially getting sued. Well, let's actually talk about Megan and Gail King for a minute. Now, the internet went crazy because they're all like, oh my God, she called uh, Gail a bitch. And to me, that's not what she said. And she was just saying like, I, she was like, why are you, and she was like, bitch, why are you asking me about blah, blah, blah? Like, she said it in more of a, she I don't know how to put. She was, she was comfortable. That's, that's how women talk amongst other women. You, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, sometimes I catch myself because I be saying girl to my homeboy. Like, when we were having a mm -hmm. conversation, you know, um, I, I didn't take offense to it. Gail clearly didn't take offense because yeah. she was slow to what was going on. Um, and, and quite frankly, if she did call Gail a bitch, it's it's her prerogative because Gail King is not Diane's. Well, let me take that back. She is not a Barbara Walters. Why did she need to know if they had a sexual relationship? I don't care if that was the rumor at the time. What they were there for was about the pow pow incident. So I see what she was saying. And this is during a time where it freshly happened. Because we saw, if you watch the documentary, you mm -hmm. see her hearing the verdict and everything, everything she went through. So I didn't take offense to it. Gail has been called worse by grown men. Mm -hmm. That's true. Snoop Dogg called her a dog before. Mm -hmm. A dog what face, a, B. Yeah. Uh, he did apologize. I do want to say that. What about you, Nadia? Your thoughts on the whole B word controversy? I agree with Couture Bay. Actually, when I heard it, I was not shocked or surprised. I took it as like a term of endearment, like girl, girl, Bob, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's how we kiki amongst females. I did not take offense to it. And if Gail is not offended, I'm fine with it. Like, I, I don't even see why people were, just, people gotta pick apart everything people say. Um, just so that it could trend and go viral and things like that. Um, but I just I just felt like she was in the comfort of her home mm -hmm. and, and 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 she was just like kind of talking to one of her girlfriends, like you know what I mean? Like, but I don't I don't feel right. like she was saying it in a malicious way. You know, you could tell if someone's calling you an itch and it, it, it and they mean it. In an offensive way. No, I don't. I didn't take offense to it at I, all. I think no matter what Megan would have said, people would be, they would find something to pick at because they can't pick at the fact that he didn't get on the stand and fight for himself. <clears throat> it, 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 it's it's DB sympathizers because granted, okay, she slept with him. He still pow powed at her after she gave him the ill na na. So again, it goes back to and this is why I don't believe in women empowerment. And I don't believe y'all when y'all say protect black women because y'all be the, the loudest and the proudest when it's time to tear down a black woman. So, and I stand on that. Um, uh, I didn't feel nothing for Gail. Gail has been called worse by men who y'all still chill with, hang with, share their content. Snoop Dogg cussed her out behind a Kobe Bryant asking a question. Mm -hmm. Gail was mm -hmm. being salacious. She wanted another moment. She wanted to top a I've been set up a R. Kelly moment and she got it. She wanted another moment of topping the Kobe Bryant moment. Mm -hmm. she, this is a journalistic woman. She's in the media space. She has the training. Do y'all really think she cared what Megan said? She got a raise off of Megan. So please. And I, and I just hate, like, who Megan slept with had nothing to do with what happened in that incident. Megan wasn't on trial for how many partners she was with. She was on trial for being violated by Tori with the Blakey, okay? Like, who mm -hmm. she slept with is her prerogative and her business. It, it has nothing to do with anything. The incident at hand. Um, and I'm just so tired of people... Slut shaming women as soon as um one of their mans is up against the law. Like, don't break the law, and you uh, won't have to be treated like a criminal. And they don't right. look like he's Malcolm X. That's what's killing me. Like, he is not is, even is an American citizen. The people? Is he out here passing out turkeys and, and giving people aid in, in the midst of the man? Like, I don't, I don't right. Know. 
I can only name you one Tory Lane song. Like, I don't know his music like that for people to be right. Like, people really ride for him. And I'm all like, was he number one on the billboard? Like, I can only name you one Tory Lane song. That's not a feature. That's not a feature. I know a few features, but other than that, I can't name you a song. Like, can you name a Tory Lane song for Torbay and Naughty? Hey, Rocky the Minute is the only one man. I know. Um, I can't Chat, know. name a Tory Lane song right now. I only know the Broken a Minute song because I like the Broken beat. a Minute. Yeah, that's the song. That's the only one I know. And they I play that in the club. In a yeah, that, that yeah, kind of it'd be at, like, the, at the bar I hang out. It'd be like, da 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 but he not like Wait, how it go? It go. Da, da, da. <laughs> Let me give the chat 30 seconds to uh, name a Tory Lane song. Here we go. Kamala Harris. Why is she in my DM? Huh? No. Mm -hmm, she, stay, she stay in my fing DM. Oh, y'all be thinking I'm playing. I'm not playing. Kamala Harris. She in my DM, bitch. Wait, isn't it, um say it Bryson Tiller Tillerson? Which is that the brownstone one? Yeah, yeah. do more than say it in the morning. Oh, when you do I it, you know, know, know. Know. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's Bryson. Yeah, I don't think that's Tori no, Lane. Tori Hold on, let me look. Wait, is it Tori Lane? Oh shit. Let me pull out the Google cuz you know Google will let us know. Shout out to our boss. <laughs> You're right, shout out to our boss. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is getting sued for a decillion dollars. <laughs> I ain't never heard of it. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, so, Tori, he's number one in Leprechaun okay. Land. Mm -hmm. Him Munchkin Lamb. That's where he's number one in. Yeah. Listen, y'all been talking about these immigrants taking your jobs and your cars and your homes. Why don't y'all want him to get deported? He's a violent criminal. Deport his ass. I don't. I just don't get it. But we're going to talk about a Tory Lane's defend, uh, defender. Uh, let's talk about um, Milagro and the whole lawsuit. Uh, let's start out with Couture Bay. What's your thoughts on the whole lawsuit situation? Um, honestly, it's sad to see any blogger be sued behind their opinions. But she was out here spreading misinformation. She's still talking. I could tell she is definitely feeling the heat because joe budden just recently said something saying she deserved to be sued and she she guarded her feelings about it and i get it the mob people call them the slow mob i don't call them any of that because because i don't need to call names you're you're getting your karma like you did all that swinging and banging for someone who was found guilty you could have literally been the mecca of transforming uh the youtube space new media and you weren't able to do it because of whatever do i know if she was paid no but clearly alex sapiro got something on you so good that they went and filed this lawsuit which is gonna hurt you and, and the fact that she's using Tory Lanez united the people that he sits on the board of directorates for just goes to show and magnify you're not using your brain. Like, if they really cared about you, they would have bought you a separate attorney for defamation, liability, and slander, and, and with the work. Like, Alex is that dude so much so that the mayor, Eric Adams, went and hired him. So I don't know why y'all are believing Mob Radio doesn't care. Me, Lagro Grams, she very much cares because she's about to get exposed in public to right. the masses. Right. right, and there's not enough filters to hide how much they're going to expose and put out there about her. Nadi, what's your thoughts? I always felt like she was suspect, the way she was like windmilling for Tori, even after the conviction. Um, but right. as a woman... For her to slander and do this to another woman, it quite frankly disturbs me because um, we have so many challenges as women. We have to work so much harder at everything. And to have another woman to continuously tear you down and to spread misinformation because it was disgusting what she did. 
Um, she deserves everything she gets, if you ask me. She's been asking for it. And it's just like, why are you still talking about this? The man has been tried and convicted. There's plenty of other topics to talk about. But it's just something, um, I think she's like a male identifier or something. She probably don't mind being knocked between the washer and dry. She strikes me as that type of woman. <laughs> oh, so I wanted to answer conversation party question. Uh, she said, as a YouTuber, are y'all concerned about these celebrities seemingly uh, getting so happy about content being? Um, to that, it, it first, it was a concern, but then it wasn't. I think when we think about the most popular case in that way is Tasha K and Cardi B. That one was a little bit more nuanced and a lot of different characters and players in that. It wasn't just, okay, I said something you didn't like. It was a lot of people involved. It's just that Tasha K ended up taking the fall for that. But uh, with this case with Milagro, as of October, she was still talking shit and, you know, saying Tori is innocent and all this other stuff. Now, if I want to say, oh, do I think that Megan should have went after DJ Academics, somebody who has a larger platform? Yeah, but I also think that this is not it for Megan. There's probably going to be more um, lawsuits coming. And I think this was just an example of somebody who was going to this. This one is basically to make an example out of everybody who's talking crap. And I think with Milagro, it was more personal, personal because you know that she wanted to reach out to exes and family members. And so when you go that far, um, it's a line you shouldn't cross. Even when it comes to us YouTubers going at it, I don't like getting involved with the family. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, no, there's somebody in the in, in the comments saying Meg the Stallion is a liar. She's not a liar. She went on record to say the truth. Tory Lanez is a liar. He's in a whole video in a, in a prison phone call because he's so green. You know, this man y'all are defending, apologizing. He was simply ignoring Botch Booty Kelsey and said, I got so lit I could remember. And please tell her I'm sorry. I'm telling her I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Why mm -hmm. are you begging for allegiance? And then all of a sudden, they're saying that he paid for Kelsey's lawyers and he offered to give Megan money if she lied. So y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop spreading misinformation because I don't know if y'all noticed from other content creators, they can sue you too for being in the chat lying. The problem is Milagro got up there and lied. Mm -hmm. He also got up on Beyonce's internet and lied, lied. spreading False information. Y'all can say whatever you want. If she said, oh, this is the verdict, I don't agree with it, that's one thing. She spread it live. So much so, lawyer for workers went into hiding because he was out yeah. there spreading the misinformation too. And the reason they're suing Milagro because she's actively right now helping Alex's case by pointing out, well, he said this, she said this, he said this, and I said, look at her not using her brain. Miss college-educated woman, according to her, out here putting the pieces together. He said, yeah, because she's the weakest link of the totem right. pole. They the only that. people who publicly apologized for spreading misinformation was No Jumper and Vlad TV, the vultures. Right. Mm. But she is. Uh, I don't. I don't understand why people don't get it. You know, and 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 everyone's trying to talk about. Oh well, Megan lied on um, Gail King. It, it she she told the truth when it count when she got on that stand. That's just the bottom line. And yeah. for Milagro to continue this this lying campaign that she's on, like you're way too vested. You're way too vested, and I think. I think WAC 100 is on the chopping block next because he's spreading a bunch of lies too. Oh, mm. Diddy's going to get him. Diddy's going to get him, and I can't wait. And not only is Diddy going to get him, he's going to get the them fake lawyers too. <laughs> yeah, I think them fake lawyers are definitely next as well too. Um, but what I want to say about Milagro is I it, it seemed at first she was caring about um, 
trending and being number one. And she would say things like, oh, yeah, I'm trending by myself. They didn't even put Megan in there, blah, blah, blah. And it's all like, well, you're still trending because of Megan. Like, if she didn't drop that lawsuit, you wouldn't be trending. Like, I don't know another time a law girl has trended. I think that was her only time, right? And this is not to be shady. E.H. Bunny, E.H. Bunny, uh, baby, she did tell the truth when it mattered. Telling the truth to Gail King, who the hell is Gail King? Gail King is not someone who's going to lock her up. Gail King is not somebody, like, y'all care about the internet, baby. You got to tell the truth in court. Right. And uh, not only that, Gail was asking her about an intimate, private question. Do you just share that information with strangers, you know, freely and willingly? I don't tell. Uh, I don't no. talk to everybody about my intimate life. I'm sorry. Right. And they don't. They. This was a business deal. Like her sitting down and having this interview. She didn't sign up to talk about her intimate life and how many partners she was with. So she had every right to lie to her if she wanted to, because it wasn't her business. Gail, my business lied. that pays you. We could tell she lied though. Like the pause yeah. when she said, "What do you mean by intimate?" We already knew she was lying. Like her puss was not on trial. Megan didn't put him on trial. The state of California, which eighty two yes. resides, eighty two state said, uh, "No, look at this violent immigrant." Y'all be talking all that ish about the immigrant. Wake it up, the mm -hmm. immigrant. Wake it a up, undocumented Rick. immigrant who was out here causing mayhem and confusion on American citizens, law-abiding Americans. Megan is a law-abiding. August Alcina, law-abiding. Travis Scott, law-abiding. I, I mean, uh, Selena Powell. These are talking. people y'all clearly don't like because y'all are going up for a man who has a violent history. And if y'all care mm -hmm. so much about him, y'all showed y'all should have told him, stop taunting her when you have an active case. That's the problem. Y'all be thinking y'all can win in the court of public opinion. Public opinion right. is going to have matter. in prison. And don't forget, it didn't matter if Megan pressed charges on him or not. The state can pick up the charges and move forward with the case if they feel like there is enough evidence to convict him beyond a reasonable doubt. And that's what happens. So all these Tory sympathizers out here windmilling for him, um, you're going to have egg on your face when you're in the cell next to him. And when you're paying out of pocket, trying to settle lawsuits and pay lawyers and things like that, I just wish people just let it be. I'm so tired. Every time Tory files a pill, he is still trending all over the internet. And it's all lies. It's all lies. Just like he tried to say, mm -hmm. um, they lost the evidence to be DNA tested all lies okay this man is doing anything to stay relevant this man is still dropping music from behind bars so what they do now in the music industry they wake up the internet and, and they'll lie to do that people don't understand mm -hmm. he still has to garner attention to his music so that people will download his new music but i don't see tory windmilling for all these folks Milo, grams Whack one, all the, I don't see him with Melin. You know, right? Him. Is he gonna help uh help her with that lawyer? Because as no. far as I'm concerned, R remember, she had to go find a nonprofit. Remember when um, DJ Academics put out that stuff before the court even started? He set himself up. But like I said, Milagro is the center of the WAC 100s, the DJ Academics, uh, the Joe Buttons. Mm -hmm. And you see Joe Button just publicly said she deserved to be sued. So they're probably going to etch him off the list. Yep, right? yep. I have it right here where... So quiet and no, nice. Oh, no, not at all. Quiet team, like, y'all cool? <laughs> no, my thing, my thing is, um, it's, it's a touchy subject because somebody got injured, right? So you, you want to be... Um, Sympathetic and, and show self care because she's suing that girl. No, I don't know. Milagro. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Nah, I just think I'm that happy about that too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you can't just get on the microphone and say things. I say that all the time. There is some responsibility that comes with how you utilize your platform. And right. if you get on here and just start saying crazy shit about people with no uh, foundation, uh, basis, or merit, 
then you open to what comes from that. And Milagro, as much as I love her, is down with that click of, uh, it's like Bush League reporting. She's down with that uh, gorilla style. Like It's like a gorilla style. Tabloid. Type type J, tabloid, us, weekly yeah. type style reporting. Inquirer. So, yeah, the National Enquirer and them niggas got lawsuit money put to the side for when stupid shit like this happened. True. You don't. So you get on their YouTube with all that, all that rigor and roll, and you you take what comes to you. Yeah, but is she even on YouTube? I I feel she's only on Station Head, right? No, she no, on she's on YouTube. She answered that deposition on YouTube like a fool. That's a it, you a dumb, yeah. dumb, dumb, dumb as they come. You just love being sued. You just want to dig your hole deeper. And it, it's just ridiculous, but you have he's right, and you know, I can't stand no sleepy Joe Buttons, okay, with his one hit, one to sell. But it's all good, it only took him 30 years to go what gold, but it's all right. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> right, well, I, wanna... I, agree with, I agree with what he's saying, you do have to be responsible with your platform, right. and I don't like when people attack people's sexuality like whack 100 just recently did it to um king combs i'm like he's gonna get sued he, yeah he also that was lied on tk he lied on tk saying he slept with her like what gives you the right to put that type of misinformation out there is disgusting to me right well that's actually a perfect transition because we kind of talked about whack 100 and the stuff that he's been talking about but Speaking of Diddy, a lot of people have just been throwing stories out there and just making shit up and hoping that it stick. I don't report on every Diddy story because I'm all like, I don't believe it. Because now you have TD fakes out there saying that, oh, yeah, I got eight takes and it got Jaden Smith and all this other stuff. And it's all like the same story that Chris Todd, a.k.a. White Jamal, was saying it's the same story that this guy is saying, but he just happens to be black. And so I want to ask you, ladies, um, I'll start out with Nadi. Do you believe these stories that are being told? Like, what's your thoughts on all these different stories? Um. So as far as Todd, I didn't believe him. And you all know I got the Kim Porter Lost Words book and 